Hi everyone, this is Barbara. Welcome to my channel, Picky Chick. In today's video, we're going to unbox this box of jewelry that I purchased online at shopgoodwill.com. It was listed as costume jewelry grab bag and it weighs nine and a half pounds. I paid $40 plus $9 shipping. So I'm anxious to see what's inside and I thought I would unbox it today with you. See what's in here. All right, let's push this aside and let me swing this over here and catch some good light. Let's begin. First item I see on top is this very pretty pendant. It's faux turquoise, has sort of a tribal Aztec design around the stones that are set in it. And I think it's very attractive. I don't see any jewelry marking. In fact, the chain seems to be turning a little bit, but I can certainly put that pendant on another chain. All right, this is a pretty necklace. It's a statement necklace, I'd say, and it is kind of a boho-y style. It, they're all plastic beads. The, the uh, tag on it is T. Now, right offhand, I don't know what that T is, but this, I can tell this isn't that, you know, an expensive designer necklace, but it's cute nonetheless. I think it's sweet. I will put that aside, maybe put it in a boho lot. Let's see. Here's a beautiful gold tone chain. Wow. Let's see if I can find any sort of marking on this. There's the clasp and has no marking. But it's very attractive. I like that a lot. Very nice. This next item is a memory wire bracelet, and wow, that's very boho looking. It's brass tone. The beads don't feel heavy, so I'm pretty sure they're plastic, but I think it's really pretty. It's a well done design, I believe. Nice. next item is a cuff bangle. It has some animals stamped on it. It looks like, let's turn it around this way, it looks like Chinese New Year animals on there. Interesting. Let's take a look at the magnet. Nope, it is not magnetic. Um, it does have a stamp on there. Let's see if I can pull that in. Doesn't want to focus. I really can't make that out. So hmm, I'll have to look further into that. If anyone can recognize what that stamp is, sure would appreciate your commenting down in the comment section below. But it's a attractive bracelet. Here is a rhinestone necklace. It's quite pretty. This looks like Betsy. It is Betsy Johnson. I, I thought it looked like Betsy Johnson when I saw this bow on it. Let's take a closer look to see if any stones are missing on there. Hmm, I do not see any stones missing. So that's real pretty. I'm happy with this necklace. And there's her tag. Right there. Here's a beautiful statement necklace. 
this oh and it has something stuck to it something that looks kind of good so we'll have to see but this is a real pretty necklace it does not have a tag on there let's take a closer look to see if there are any stones missing on this I don't see any but that's pretty And this is that little dainty necklace that was stuck to our previous statement necklace. It, <clears throat> excuse me, it looks real as far as real gold or silver. I'm going to take the, oh, look at that. The magnet sticks to it. But it has one of those clasp or a connection to the clasp that has a stamp on it. So let's take a closer look to see if we can see what that says. It's, that says 925. So, wonder what that's all about. It's stamped 925, but um, the magnet is sticking to it. So, I don't know. I'll put that aside with a question mark and look further into that. Here's a pretty statement necklace. I see one similar to this in a lot of the jewelry jars and jewelry lots that I buy. This one has a heart charm on the end. I don't think it's a, any sort of maker's mark, but it's a pretty necklace. Here's a very unique piece. I love the pendant. The pendant is, it's like an asymmetric design. So the pendant is worn on the side, like so. Let me pull this back a little bit. And it's, uh, the chain is very heavy, very nice. It's sort of an antiqued finish. And it looks like this lobster clasp has become unattached. It would be a completely easy fix right there. I don't see a jewelry tag on this, but boy, is that pretty. Here's a cute necklace. It's a pearl, cho pearl choker necklace. And... Yeah, I don't think it's a bracelet. That'd be an awfully big bracelet. Um, yeah, it's very cute. It has a jewelry tag on it. And it says Avon. So it's very cute. I will likely put that in a craft lot, though. Here is a beaded necklace in pretty colors. There, are, It's like a taupey, bronzy seed bead and gray. And it's multi-strand, and the very end of it is a chain. Interesting. Very interesting. No jewelry tag, and this is going to go in a craft lot. This caught my eye. This is a Chico's statement necklace, multi-layer. Let's get this whole thing in a shot, shall we? Very pretty. And it still has the tags on it. Let's take a look here. $59. This is pretty. I think I can list this on eBay. This is cute. Let's make sure it is. Yep, it is Chico's. Very nice. This is a similar bracelet to the one I just had earlier. This one here, this cuff bracelet. Same design on there, same maker's mark, which I can't make out actually. And uh, interesting. So there's kind of a set. Come on camera, there we go. All right, well that's interesting. Here's a pretty bracelet. That's really nice. This has a mark. I saw a mark on this. I thought I did. Yes. This is Trafari. Let's work on this focus camera. Come on now, baby. 
Hmm. I think that's showing up. But it's quite pretty. It's a great design. And it's in perfect shape. So I am liking it. Very nice. Isn't this pretty? This is a statement piece. It's a three-tone metallic, silver, copper, and brass tone, or gold tone, I'm not sure. And the chain that it's uh, strung on or connected to is pretty uh, heavy, nice. I do not see a maker's mark on here, but it is just a stunning piece. I think it's gorgeous. I would wear this for sure. Wow, isn't this pretty? A necklace, and it feels great. It does have a maker's mark, has a jewelry tag and a mark on there. I don't recognize it. I, I, if anyone knows what this is, please leave me a comment down below. I'm still learning so much. But this has a uh, uh, rhinestones, and it's sort of a link type of... Uh, chain with I don't know what that is it almost feels like leather or something that's navy blue and it's really a beautiful piece interesting can't wait to find out who the maker is of this here's a gorgeous cuff bracelet it looks beautiful it's um I'm guessing those are gemstones. I've got the magnet here that will, it doesn't stick to the magnet. It has a clasp on this side. Let's open her up. And I don't see a mark on this. I might be missing it, but I'm gonna put this aside and look into it further. This is gorgeous, look. I don't see anything missing on this. Wow! This is a pretty bracelet. It's a costume piece for sure. It's lightweight, but it's um, it's a cute little piece. I probably would put that in the craft lot though because it's so lightweight. Definitely the magnet likes it. Now this is an interesting piece. It's pretty. I am trying to figure out how it's supposed to be worn. Here is the clasp. It's magnetic. All right, so we have that. Then, obviously, there's issue here with the connection. I can't figure this one out. Um, these two match, and then there's this piece. So I think there's a lot missing maybe on this side. Hmm, interesting. Gorgeous components, though. Very pretty. It would make a nice uh, piece for the craft lot. Here's a longer necklace. It's really beautiful. And it has a couple of enamel loops, links in it, and it's gold tone. It does have a maker's mark. Oh, there's a toggle clasp there. And the maker's mark is like a BR. And it seems that recently I saw that maker's mark somewhere and it was a new to me mark. So I can't recall the maker's mark, uh, the maker of this. But sure is a pretty necklace. Here's a cute little ring. Two hearts, pink and clear. This is, does have a, a mark inside, and it says Avon. It's cute. Isn't this a cute bracelet? It's got a beautiful translucent stone in there with some rhinestone surrounding it on a delicate, it looks like a Greek key style uh, chain. And the maker's mark is C plus I, which 
is Chloe and Isabel. I just discovered that on a recent jewelry jar that I unjarred. Here's a pretty bracelet. Now this, this feels real, but it looks like we have some missing uh, parts to this. I don't see any kind of ending uh, clasp. Oh, it has a stretch to it. Oh, you know what? Maybe this was attached to a watch. I'm not sure. I don't know. It sticks to the magnet. Here's a pretty neck uh, bracelet, rather. Isn't that pretty? That is a pretty bracelet. I see no maker's mark on it, but it's just very pretty. It's a hematite tone chain with some green and coral colored beads. Well, here's a beautiful statement necklace. Look at that, it's hematite tone, flowers with uh, crystals and some pearls on this one on a black chain. And the tag on there is Express. You know, I am happy with this Shop Goodwill jewelry lot. I have one other video where I unboxed one of these. Uh, I'm happy with this. This is beautiful. This is new with tags. The Gen uh, Lifestyle Studios Genuine Shell. I don't know Lifestyle Studios. Let's look. Uh, it was a $24 uh, MSRP on this. And it's quite pretty. This is cute. This is a long necklace. This, uh, it's silver tone and it's got mesh linked uh, components and plastic beads, black and silver. There's no name on it, but it's a cute little necklace. Here's another bracelet. It feels nice. Hmm. Let's take a look at this. I bet you there's there's got to be a mark in this. It just feels really nice. Now I see something something in there. I see if this camera will. Aha, Monet. This is a very pretty uh, bracelet. I could feel it. Just feels really good. Feels quality. And so nice, nice piece. This is a gorgeous pair of earrings right here. Wow, they're very pretty. They feel beautiful as far as uh, quality, I should say. They feel beautiful too. The magnet does not want to stick to it. <clears throat> I'm looking for a mark in these and I don't see one, but I'm pretty certain uh, that those are real gold and some sort of stone so they require further investigation beautiful necklace here three strand and they're red and coral color beads uh, on a silver tone chain oops and let's see this has a key charm and that might be a fossil necklace. Yes, it is. I don't know if you can see that, but it says fossil. It's a very nice necklace. I'll probably list that in my eBay store. Cute bracelet here. It looks handcrafted. It has hematite tone beads. The toggle clasp is heart-shaped. And I'm thinking that it's probably a silver component right there. Well, let's see. 
the magnet sticking to the hematite, that makes sense. But let's see about this toggle. It's not sticking. I suspect that that's because it's real sterling so silver and that's a cute bracelet. Since these were kind of entwined together in the bag here, these are just chip stones. I shouldn't say they're just chip stones. They're chip stones. And that's citrine and that might be garnet citrine. I don't know if that would be peridot and maybe quartz. I'm guessing on some of these. But, um, and they feel like they're on a string where uh, jewelry crafters buy them like this and then take them apart and make jewelry with them. But they're nice. This is a nice looking necklace. It has a variety of uh, different style chains on there. There's three strands. S this has gold and silver tone, silver tone, and then gold. That's pretty. Has a toggle clasp. And offhand, I am not seeing a maker's mark on this one. But it's a great looking necklace. Nice looking. Here is a Alex and Annie wannabe. It's not an Alex and Annie, it's just fashioned that way. But it's, um, yeah, Magnet likes it. Here's a really unique piece. It's a very long statement necklace, multi-layer, silver tone. And these components are really interesting. It's like an open work links and there are some crystals on some of these really interesting nice oops nice long nice long necklace statement necklace I'm going to show you two really similar pieces this is a like a hematite or maybe an antiqued silver chain and this is a gold tone but uh, it's very similar they have charms on them that are fruit and there's this looks actually the same I wonder if these are handcrafted pineapples on this one pearls hanging down grapes on this one and they're kind of cute maybe they are handcrafted here is another statement necklace Peach colored plastic stones on there, teardrop. It's eh. Uh, might even be prettier on the video than it is in person. The, the stones are faded. It's a, it's a cheapy. It's going to go in the craft lot. Let's see if I can get these untangled. All right. We got this guy untangled. It's an inexpensive costume piece. Kind of cute. Got some circles going on there. Gold tone. Nothing too exciting. And another costume piece. And it's pretty tangled up. Uh, but you get the idea. It's a uh, an expensive piece again. And it's gonna go in the craft lot. In keeping with a the cheapy theme. We have another plastic bead necklace. There is a tag on there that says Diva. It's another craft lot piece. Here's a pretty pair of earrings. They're very beautiful. And here's what the magnet does with it. Nothing. 
Let's take a closer look and see if we can figure out the stones on these. I am really not sure. Um, I believe that it is a gold wire. They just feel really nice. And we will definitely put those aside. Here's a nice statement piece. It's definitely costume jewelry, but it's attractive. Multi-layer hematite tone. It's got rhinestones and um, different types of chain and beads on there. It's pretty. There is no maker's mark. It's just a statement piece. Costume jewelry. Here's a bangle that sort of a Bollywood type of piece. It's gold tone. See if I can fix this light here and get in closer. It is just a cheap bangle, really. And let's get the right side here. My magnet likes it a lot. It's going to go in the craft lot. Now, this is a very beautiful necklace here. It looks real. I don't see any stamps on it. It has a clasp that looks like this. I know there's a name for it, but I'm not sure what it is. And it, it just looks real. But look, the magnet wants to stick to it. So it's just a, a well-made piece, and it's not real. It's a costume piece, and I like it. Very detailed. Here is a set of pearls, and I don't want to put them on my teeth. I'm funny about uh, putting, you know, testing pearls like that in my mouth uh, before I wash them. But um, they they look kind of either dirty or I don't know what to call it. They're, they don't have a luster, and I don't know what that means. I don't know much about pearls. But maybe I should just put those aside and take a look, closer look later. Here's a little bracelet. Or no, that is a necklace. And this, the, this says Barbie. <laughs> How cute is that? It's a little girl's necklace. And it says Barbie on the tag. So that's pretty cute. Put that in a craft lot. Here's a sparkly necklace. It's got some crystals on there. It's got a nice shine. No jewelry tag, but it's a cute little necklace. Here's a pretty little necklace. It's costume piece. It's attractive. It has uh, wear. It's wearing out here on the stone. Um, it's going to go in the craft lot, but it's pretty. Pendant could be used, and some of these other beads could be used. Nice. So I'm going to show you the rest of the lot. This so the rest I have to show you is in the category of the rest of the stuff. This is a tangled mess, and it's a cheap uh, necklace. It's going to go in the craft lot. The rest of this is going in the craft lot. This is another necklace. It's turning. This is a pretty lightweight, cute necklace that someone can use the components for in a craft um, project. Uh, plastic beads. Another necklace that's very lightweight. Uh, pendant. And the rest are just cheap, cheap stuff. It's uh, tur either turning or very lightweight. And it's going to go in the craft lot. Here are some necklaces that the magnet stuck all over. Uh, some onesie earrings over here. And some El Cheapo bangles. And a scarf clip. So uh, that is the lot that I got today. And was happy to unbox with you. Shopgoodwill.com that does it for today's unboxing of the Shop Goodwill Jewelry Lot. I thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already subscribed to my channel, 
please subscribe. And if you want to get notified of when I post new videos, you can hit that bell notification. Also, feel free to share this video with anyone you think might enjoy it. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.